Okay, Chandra. Chandra will also be a challenge because it's basically direct damage versus direct damage in a sense and I have 60 to get through and she has 20 to get through. This could be good, but I just, it's, it's not going to be enough. And you actually kind of don't want to give Chandra the Howling Mine. This is really good. Because I have this out, if I draw a Howling Mine, I might actually play it, depending on the situation. Oh, I wish I had that last turn. Um, I'm actually not going to do it right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this out. That way, next turn, I can put this down and still have Counterspell Mana. Just for mana efficiency. Okay, okay. You can put out a Torch Fiend if you want. I have started, that was 5% of her life right there, and she's about to do 10% of my life to me, so this is a losing race right here. I don't care about that. Although technically she draws her own card, so it's 4 per turn, so it's a 15th versus a 10th. So it's not as bad of a race, just that. But it is still... Oh, and then there's 5th, so it's a 12th versus a 10th. So by this, I still do have some time. But I do need to draw something besides just lands. This will not be sufficient. She does have a phoenix. And I cannot deal with a 5-4 at this time. Can't do it. What I would really, really like right now is a sword. That would be amazing. That is not a sword. That is continuing my losing race. Not only is it a losing race by herself, but another particular difficulty is putting phoenixes into her graveyard. I am really, really surprised they didn't swing first. I totally wouldn't have blocked the torch fiend, and he could have gotten he could have he could have gotten his bloodthirst. More land. This I'm definitely losing this. I'm, she's not even halfway. Cause this is all I had. Ugh. Seriously. Two, four, five, six, seven. I don't even know what I could draw at this point to make a difference. But um, I'm probably just going to restart this one. Yeah, it's not going to do it. Um, slightly better. I do have a way to get to 10 fairly quickly, so at least I have a 5-5 five five that she's going to have to deal with. As long as she doesn't just like kill that right now. I don't think she has Lightning Bolt until Revenge.
and I really do want to hit that 10. So I believe that's it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I should only count it as 9 though, really. Actually, no, if she uses the card to damage me and gets the Phoenix back. He's pumpable, right? Yes. I would like to put that down, but I'm holding on the counterspell mana. Slow you down. Okay. Just because he's tapped out at the moment, and I know one of the cards he's got in his hand. And he can't come in right now, even though he's got haste. And I really need to draw a card here. I, knew, I really need to draw land here. That's kind of aggravating that I haven't... is a potential 5-5, five five, but I want to hold on to Counterspell. Because I will block this, even though it will kill my whole side. I will block that. B mostly because I do have that. that gets countered. Seriously? The two mana for seven is going to be better than the two mana for two. Down to 17, and yet... Seriously. This is... ridiculous.
Thank you. It's probably too late though. Yeah, definitely too late. Or... Well, it's still a 6-6. Six, six. I have to block it. That really sucks. Oh look, that would have been great a long time ago, and I'm dead. <sighs> so land screwed twice in a row, that's always fun. Um, this is actually really, really good if I get the land, and I do have two counters. And I get to play first. I just don't, don't screw me on land again. Ah. I actually do want to get rid of that because of my sword. Plus, I need to survive to land. Most of the time, I would not recommend putting him out, especially versus red, but I might, I, I just might need him to chump block something. You know? Like that. Because I don't have, um, land right now, I need to chump block it. Thank you. Um, go ahead and put that out there. That way, uh, as soon as I get four, I can put one of these out, and on the following turn, even if I don't draw a land, I can equip it. That's kind of unfortunate, but... Okay. It's a big guy on the ground. I couldn't couldn't deal with it.
Wow. Not enough mana. Not enough mana. Uh, actually, that that's it. I lose. <sighs> At least I have four mana to start. Hopefully I draw spells I can cast relatively early. Like that. Honestly, probably should have waited until next turn, just to not give him the opportunity to kill it immediately. Now I want to wait till I have 5 mana to lay that so that I can have the into the royal waiting. Okay. I need to come up with something. I might have to royal that. Which would really suck. Okay, so I don't have to royal that right now. This is good. This is very good. I do kind of hate that I had to use it that way. And as long as he's got that, uh, As long as he's got that, I can't lay the, uh, the sword. Okay. So unfortunately, I absolutely must get this back. And he 
can kill it, but I have to kill him in response because he's flying. But now, I can play the sword, equip it, he can block and not get milled to 10 and his creature will die, that's fine. Or if he let me through, he would be down to three cards and I would have a, a wolf. And there's really not much of a reason not to just go ahead and do that right now. And that's game, because I can tap it and get in. Whew. There we go. Chandra's not easy, guys. Took three. Oh! Right. You get one more turn. And you die. <laughs> Killed you with a counter spell. Interesting. Alright. Next. 